So, welcome to Single the Trouble, still five times the fun. It's me, Dad, Sir Snapback, all by myself, but I am on a wild adventure. I am in Miami for Art Basel slash NFT Now. I'm right now at Doodle Putt. Got into Doodle Putt today. I was at the Fuocious Few paint party earlier. Went to the Artifact unveiling of the Crypto Kicks yesterday. Met so many legendary artists. There is so much going on here. It is gonna be such an epic episode. I might even split it into two because there is just so much content coming your way. Uh, so join us on another Snapback Family Adventure. <laughs> Yo, I can't even believe I'm here for real. We got the Aku Tar behind me. Uh, shout out to Aku Dreams, Micah Johnson. Uh, we are here at Art Basel, Miami. Yesterday when I woke up, I had zero plans of coming to Miami, none at all. Uh, I was just like, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna work out. But then I saw, hmm, maybe there's some spots available. So I, I belong to Clonex, Artifact, as you guys know, NFT, and they're hosting a lot of events here and they had a bunch of passes, VIPs, events, and a buddy of mine, Alts, he posted that he got into all the events and I'm like, man, they're having a lot of events. I wonder if there's uh, space. So I called up my homie Jace. I said, Jace, are you going to um, Art Basel? And he said, I'm looking at flights right now. I don't know. Are you going to Art Basel? I said, I'm looking at flights right now. I don't know. And next thing you know, five hours later, we were both on flights to Art Basel. And tell you the truth, this is why we started a show because this is our life all day every day so i'm out here without the fam uh it's just me but we are here at art basel in miami it is night one is only vips only so we just got here still early lightweight we're just kind of checking out some of the different booths saying hi to some of our friends and checking out the overall vibe before we head to the atom bomb squad party atom bomb squad dead fellas coinbase are all having a party later tonight uh, from 11 p.m. till 4 a.m. with ice skating, bowling, and just open bar, awesome vibes. So that's our plan for tonight, but right now we're just gonna check out uh, our Basel, see what's going on on the first day. This is November 29th, day one, VIPs only. I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day. All right, so we bumped into a bunch of our Clonex fam. Everything's really lightweight today because it's the first night. It's VIPs only, so not much is really happening. But we checked out a couple of the booths, just chopped it up with our good friends, and now we're going to grab a bite to eat. We found this awesome place. When you when in Rome, you want to eat like the Romans do. So we're at Poyos y Haras, and it's by a chef. His name is uh, Juan Chipoco. He's been here since 2012. He's like I got Cuban food, so I'm excited to see what they have here before we can fill our bellies before we hit the Atom Bomb Squad party. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my hands. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bankroll, bankroll, euro, euro, peso, peso, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me, oh you matter what? It's Betty and Bobby, say hello Bobby. Hi Bobby. <laughs> Welcome to Better Together, the party from Adam Bob Squad and Dad Fellas. No matter what project you belong to, welcome. We hope you have the best time ever. Um, one, two, three, shot LFG. LFG. CCNY onto Zach Bia. It's, it's an honor, by the way. I've been, I looked up to Bobby since I was a little kid, so we're happy to be here. Let's have a good time. Add it up, add it up. Banko, Banko, Euro, Euro, Peso, Peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told it if it's all me. Everything is on me. Going back it up. 
Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Yo! So it's day two, and the party last night was so lit. I didn't have time to check in because it was loud, and there was so much stuff to do. There was so much. I had to beat Jason uh, bowling. He actually beat me. But <laughs> ice skating, there was an open bar, there was ice skating, uh, there was a lot of really cool people there. Our friends from Artifact actually showed up at the Coinbase party, so it was, you know, it was lit. It was the party of the week so far. Bobby showed up. Much respect for Bobby for inviting us out and holding that down. So today, uh, we're gonna start off the day by meeting up with our friend for breakfast, and we'll see what we can get into from there. So, let's see. So you already know the first shop we got to check out is the Artifact Clonex shop. The Clonex has a pop-up here with all the physical Air Force Ones are in shop. They also got some in real life crypto kicks here, which will be my first time seeing them real. So you know I'm hyped to see everything Artifact's doing out here. So let's check it out. All right, so if you're not familiar, Artifact, when they got bought by Nike, they had a collection of Space Drip shoes where each designer was able to like custom design their own pair of Artifact shoes. And it ended up being a collab with Nike. Those are the Delasso, so sick. And you can see they have them all on display here. Those are the Jastys. I talked to Jasty, he's here. We got the Zaids right here, so sick. And then we also got the Sean Williams. Ooh, white on one side, black on the other. Ugh, nasty. All right, so I am here in person with the with the prototype of the in real life crypto kicks from Artifact. They are so drippy and sick. I own a pair of auto adapts, but this is like next level technology. So I was just talking to one of the exec execs for Nike, and basically what they've done is they've added a haptic engine in here, so you can get notifications. Like if they could they could send notifications to your phone, push them through advanced lighting, um, and then just um, I think better in the whole lacing up. It's all been evolved to like 2.0, so you can see. If you hold it here, you can tighten the shoes and you see the laces will tighten up there. And then you could unlace them. And yo, these things are actually really light. My adapts are so heavy and these things are actually a lot lighter. So they managed to fit all this technology in and make it a lot more wearable, man. I, I'll tell you, I've seen the pictures of them and they don't do it justice. In real life, they look so much thicker than the pictures. So, so hyped for when these drops. I know I'm getting a bunch of pairs because <laughs> I got a lot of artifacts. So I, I'm looking forward to it, man, for sure. So this is a charging pad. And if you have a charging pad like me, you will notice it is way smaller than the old charging pad. Super upgraded, man, dope. Looks sleek and clean. So the addition of the haptic engine is game changing in my opinion. It gives you tactile feedback and lets the shoe buzz to notify you if they want to send you a push notification or if you're changing a setting or anything like that on the app. But if you thought the alpha was gonna stop there, you're wrong because I have even more alpha to give you. I have the official names for all four colorways of the Crypto Kicks IRL, and I'm gonna let you know them here for the first time right now. All right, colorway number one is Stone. Absolutely love it. So clean, nice and light. Colorway two is Blackout, and they came with the black on black on black on black Knight Rider style. MKBHD would be proud of this one. The third colorway we got is Ice, and man, this is one of my favorite colorways. It's like the Marty McFly Hyper Dunk. It kind of gives you that feel of the mag safes, the mags. But my favorite, favorite colorway is Space Matter. I mean, it is mind blowing how dope these look in person. All in all, four beautiful colorways, but I also heard through the grapevine that there will be a way in the future to link your clone to your Crypto Kick IRL. And not only that, they are working on a way so that the color, you can set the colors on on your shoe to match the colors on your clones. These are literally the shoes of the future, guys. They are pushing the technology to the next level and I'm sure they have more surprises up their sleeve so it doesn't stop here. Yo, the Artifact booth was so lit. I did not think I would get a chance to actually hold an in real life pair of Crypto Kicks. So I am like, I'm still shaking with excitement uh, for that. But some more alpha I'm dropping for you guys. 
Uh, I got to see the bottom of them, and they, the lights actually light up on the bottom. The bottom is sick. That's something I don't think anybody's ever seen before. And also, I talked to the Nike exec personally, and I found out that Artifact actually has their own app. You will not be using the Adapt app. You will use, uh, Artifact will have their own app. This is an Artifact shoe, not a Nike shoe. You know, it is a Nike shoe, but it's really an Artifact shoe. So they're trying to brand it all on their own. Also, they upgraded the charger too. I have a pair of auto adapts. Sometimes when you put them on the charger and the shoe is dead, the shoe wouldn't light up to let you know it's charging. So like you keep putting your shoe on because you're not sure if it's charging. So what they did was they added an LED light to the charger. So as soon as you put the shoe on, that lights up and you know that your shoe is charging, which is a little thing, but it makes a big difference for the user. It, it definitely would end some frustration on my user experience. So I'm happy that they're taking the time to do that kind of stuff. So overall, I just gotta say, I'm super impressed with the um, in real life crypto kicks. They got a little bit of FUD when they first dropped saying they look like the first adapts, but they actually don't in person. They're way smaller, way lighter, way sleeker. The technology works better. They just look super dope. I'm super hyped for the Galaxy. That Galaxy skin, those look so sick. So anyways, hype for the artifact in real life crypto kicks. Uh, we're gonna head down the block, see what other shops they got going on and uh, see what else is happening. So we just stopped by the FaZe Clan uh, storefront. If you don't know FaZe Clan, they're like the biggest gamer group that exists out there. But um, they have, a, actually they have a dope booth. They have a little setup where you can, they have like a little um, living room setup that's really cool. They have a grabber where you can grab some stuff. They have a whole gaming area. And then they actually have a metaverse room, which I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna check it out. So um, FaZe Clan's out here represent. They gave me a free hoodie, free shirt. So uh, yeah, fun stuff, man. There are so many booths, so many stores around here. A lot of, uh, they're called stores, but they're really um, activations. They're things for you to go inside and learn about the brand, learn what they're doing, and um, just get you involved in their projects. So, um, one of the people that's sponsoring this whole thing is MoonPay. And if you didn't know, MoonPay is a way basically for you to use your credit card to buy crypto or to buy NFTs or whatever you want. So. Um, MoonPay has an activation here and it's pretty cool. They're working with an artist, Amber Vittoria, who's super dope. You should check out your work, if, her work if you haven't already. But um, you can peel stickers off of a, a obelisk thing in order to reveal her artwork and then place it onto a puzzle to make your own artwork. You can also scan the wall with the Instagram filters and do some AR, some cool AR stuff. And uh, of course, like many of these other places, you can get a free NFT as well. So I definitely claim that. And uh, overall, it's just a really cool way to get people involved, introduce them to MoonPay, because I'd never heard of it before, so. So it is day three. We have survived three days on this crazy trip already. Day three, and today is all about Artifact, Rimawa, Crypto Kicks. Uh, we got a couple panels we're gonna go to. We're going to drop by the Artifact event space, and today the founders are gonna stop by. So I'm super hyped for that. Hopefully get to meet Clegg or talk to Clegg, talk to Zap. Hopefully get some alpha on these new IRL Crypto Kicks. So overall, it's gonna be a very exciting day. Looking forward to it. Let's see what everybody's getting into. Hands up in the sky. I give you my word, that's what I stand on. Loyalty and trust is what I stand on. Family and love is what I stand on. Yo, I'm here with Clegg FX, one of the founders of Artifact, showing love for the bigger bit. Just wanted to say what's up and represent for the whole team. So, what's up? Sir Snapback, I appreciate you for coming to this event. Awesome to always see your support in the community and everything. It's a great time to be alive here at Art Basel. The clone next to pop up experience. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hey. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. All right, so I'm here with Zap Teal, one of the co-founders of Artifact with the new Crypto Kicks in real life, talking everything fresh, new, and the future of sneakers. So what's up, Zap? Tell me about these sneakers, man. These are the future of sneakers. They have the latest technology that we've never seen before. We're really excited to release these. These will be the first Web3 sneaker merging virtual and physical worlds. They'll be releasing with our own app where you can automatically unlace and display the future. 
So live with his app right now, he's lacing his shoes and changing the light on a on a custom artifact app. And you guys you built your own app. You could have used the sneaker. You could have used the Adapt app, but you built your own app from the ground up. Exactly. We used a lot of what the Adapt app had, uh, but we wanted to implement Web3 native features. We have Wallet Connect and some cool mechanics coming up, so you guys have to wait and see what we got. Yeah, yeah, well that's actual alpha for you, man, so can't wait to see. I know you guys have all kinds of super dope stuff that you're keeping behind the curtain, so I can't wait till it all comes to life, man. It's very soon, that's yeah. the alpha, let's go. Let's go, let's go. So one of the dope things they have to do here at the Gateway or NFT now is they have a bunch of panels with a bunch of guest speakers. They've had some really cool people. Farouk has been hosting a lot of stuff. Gary V has been up there. Uh, and today the Artifact guys are speaking, specifically uh, Zap Tio and Chris Clegg are both speaking. So we're gonna drop in there to see what they have to say. It's a talk on uniting fashion and the metaverse, digital, physical, the future of fashion, basically, the future of everything. So we're gonna see what they have to say and uh, drop in on this little chat. I can't ask you how this whole project ties into clones and whatnot, but you can't really talk on that too. I kinda wanna ask you a little, to go deeper on the whole eggs and animus, but I don't know how much you can say. This is the storytelling phase of Artifact and all the IPs and connecting it together. Um, because I, and this is probably a stretch, but I really believe we're gonna crush the Marvel Cinematic Universe down the road. I tweeted this before, but we're, we're going deep. We have really great story writers. Um, Benoit is crushing it. We're working with the, the story team to come up with crazy cool lore, uh, making sure all plot holes are filled. No one can complain, because we, we're trying to set the tone and the environment for our community to come in and even fill in the story. With us, the community is the brand. So what we try to do is like pave the way for the community to follow and build their own IP. We've already with the Clone X project seen at least 10 amazing creators build their own brands using the IP that they own. And that's something we're super passionate about. Like Clone Falls, they have their own lore, their own story. And uh, we want to empower the next generation to sort of build their own off the base recreate. To, to clarify again, because uh, I know a lot of people were confusing it. These have nothing to do with the, the, the dumps at yeah. all. This is separate. Yeah, yeah this is the CryptoKick IRL, and we yeah, can like, connect it real life. So. Okay, so this is its own separate uh, thing. So that's not the CryptoKick, the dunks. Um, anything uh, you can share regarding those dunks when it comes to. I know it's tough to ask questions. in right. progress, that's all. Yeah. yeah. That's it, coming. You guys are literally like pushing the fashion industry forward. How's this been for you guys from that perspective? Like not the te clearly tech wise, you guys are crushing, and I love to see what you're doing and then enabling blockchain technology through literally sneakers, which is nuts. Like, but on the fashion side, well, what's super interesting is like we're, I think, the first brand to fuse fashion, sneakers, and crypto in a way that hasn't been done before. And I think fashion, the industry traditionally is very old school. They have one creative director who does everything. Uh, you don't know how many products they release, you're spending thousands on like hoodies or jackets and there could be millions of them, uh, they don't even authenticate and I think what we're trying to build is a platform for new designers and new collaborators to come in and I think one really cool thing we teased this before is our inventory app, so clones are like the base of our ecosystem and we're releasing all of these different NFT wearables, uh, so a lot of crazy things planned on that way like we want people to embrace their clones as their virtual identities and have all their different gear. And I think a cool part of this space is like G Money and there's Zuki. They're both doing like physicals with NFCs and we all support each other. No one has the playbook on how to do it right. We're all using different strategies, but we're not trying to shut down other people experimenting because you need to sort of all build and see what works because this is a new space with no playbook or textbook on how to navigate. So. We, we love to experiment and innovate, and the future is now. So thank you, appreciate everyone's support here, um, you know, and helping us build. Yeah, thank you, protect the egg. Protect the egg. Thank you. Thank you. Since we're in Miami at our Basel, we gotta check out some stuff that's outside of NFT Now Metaverse. So we're gonna hop in an Uber, we're gonna head over to 
Winwood, Wherewood to Art Basel, Art Basel proper. And we're gonna hit up a, a, an event called Dopamine. It's like a streetwear music festival. Uh, see what they got going on there. So let's check it out. So dopamine was pretty cool. Good vibe, good people, free drinks, free warm cookies, and some dope fashion. Uh, now we're gonna head across town. Uh, Artifact has an event with Rimawa. Rimawa, the suitcase company, uh, they have an exclusive event that we're about to hit up. I think there's gonna be a panel, free drinks, open bar, and once again, dope vibes. So let's see what they got going on. We didn't want to just do class and release something. We wanted to tie it into a whole universe. I feel like that's what's missing uh, with a lot of collaborations, especially with Web3, when they just collaborate, they do some art, they release it. I feel like storytelling, especially if we're working with a, a local entry brand like Remova, we want to somehow figure out how to tie it into this whole futuristic narrative that makes sense, so that, that touches the gaming side of everybody. Well, I'm a big fan of Remo and I think it was exciting that knowing that whenever we do collaborations, we always try to like merge the worlds and put our spin on it, which is a very over the top crazy style. So I was just excited to see where this could go and how crazy we could go given that like Remo is a legacy brand. And I think the drop was insane, never seen before and the storyline and the lore. So it was definitely insane. By the way, I think the uh, marketing should be replaced by storytelling. Yeah. Because I feel like the word marketing, this is a good point to bring up. Yeah. I was thinking about it. Yeah, marketing is like, you're trying to do something to sell a product. Yeah. But storytelling is a better form of that because you're, you're creating a story to get the person engaged in terms of loving the product for longevity. And it's not just working too much. Like, pump something out quick, get them to buy. No, I'm just yeah. Outside of the fact that, yes, there is a forging event around the corner. I don't think I can say the date. I won't say the date, but it's close. Uh, very exciting. Um, <laughs> there is some innovation in the suitcase itself, outside of just that normal remote product. Can you speak to how that came to be and then what you developed? 100%. I think we're trying for every project to be different. Um, so we developed an antiquidal uh, effect, 3D logo, logo that, that is also on the, on the suitcase, and there is uh, a lot more maybe. I can quickly talk about the inside of the, of the case, which I believe no one has really seen so far. Can I? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's not you. It's not you get clogged. So you want to be young and you're so. Alpha. Um, no, but you know, it's just like playful stunts and, and small details that make the collapse less short. You know? um, inside the case, there is always a lining, so it's a fabric, you know, that just protects your clothes or whatever you want to put inside. So we played with, um, you know, a, a screen type of look and feel as in like an old like game, game Boy screen, you know this green screen that when you turn on like you see some like lines that look like this. So uh, it's almost like when you open the suitcase, you went to the screen, you went to the digital space and then there is NFC chips and so on. So again, that, that, that product is very special and uh, I'm surprised it's product. And actually the first product looks way better uh, the NFT itself. Uh, I, I love the NFT one with the teeth that we had, and then on our side, like you always bring in new digital utilities, and you can see that there's a different rarity between the suitcases, and we have something planned for that. So there's lots of surprises coming. So Matthew, Chris, Stephen, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So the Artifact Rimowa party was lit, the one that we were at earlier, but that actually was not 
the party. That was just the talk. So it was all actually uh, pretty impressed that they put that together. Really cool vibe. Got to get some amazing alpha on, on all the Rimmelwood collab and everything that's to come. So super hyped about that. But the real party is at Soho House tonight and that's uh, the after party. So we're about to hit that up. It's super windy so hopefully it doesn't sound like a Miami hurricane. But uh, if it does sound like it, that's because it also feels like it. So anyways, hopefully it's that lit inside too. Let's see what's going down. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. That's on me. If I come up and I fall off, that's on me. If I fall and I sell out, that's weak. That's why I take my time before I make my mind. Up. Yo, so it is day four. If you can believe it, day four, it has been such a blur. Soho House Party was lit last night. Super swanky vibes, you know, very high class, very classy. We had a table, Rimawa hooked us up with pretty much all the food and drink we could eat for all the artifact people. Rimawa had, it was a Rimawa party, and they had just a really great group of people there. A classy environment, good mix, good diversity, uh, good DJ, good vibes. There was a performance by Halato Negro. He got up there, he was grooving. Overall, just a spectacular night. But now, day four, can't say we saved the best for last because, uh, you know, we had Artifact all week long. But today, we're going to try to hit up the Doodle Putt event. We're here early, we're like the 10th people in line. We don't know how many spots there are, so we're gonna try to get in Doodle Putt because it looks so epic, and I've always wanted a doodle but wasn't able to cop one. Yeah. We be taking everything for granted, no lie. Uh -huh. Cause I remember days that we could barely get by. Oh, yeah. Used to use the negativity to get high. Oh, but now the comments we reading can ruin our lives, why? It okay, so you already know I learned my lesson. The first thing you gotta do when you hit an event is hit the merch store because there's lots of dope merch and if you don't get to it quick, the merch is sold out. So we're here at the Doodle Putt merch store and it's sick, they've come up with a whole line of very high quality, well thought out merch that uh, falls in line with their doodle putt theme. There's golf balls, there's golf club uh, uh, towels, there's golf uh, polo tees, shorts, and then of course there's hoodies and there's a special edition um, shirt, specifically for this event, which is so sick. Hats, buckets, they got so much dope stuff here. I'm actually very impressed with the merch. You know, coming from Artifact, I have high expectations on the merch and they have, uh, they have met the expectations. Doodles merch, A plus as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna go shop in a bit, see if there's anything we like, and just check out all the sick merch they have to offer. Oh. Yo, that oh. is so sick. That is so sick. This is, yo, literally the sickest piece of clothing in the store. The Doodles Varsity Letterman jacket. It's got the, hold on, let me feel it. Let me touch it, I just wanna touch it. Ooh, it's got the high quality. Oh, Stitch, it's like a rug yeah, on the back dope. of it, man. Yo, that is epic. You're gonna get it? You gonna get it? Of course I'm gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> sick. All right, so I'm here with my man, Randy Hercules, and uh, as soon as we went in, he saw he saw that jacket. What do you think about the jacket when you saw it? The quality is just insane. Dude. Yeah, like, man. It, the, the back of it is just awesome, so I had to buy it. Yeah, yeah, so Randy got here early. He got here super early, waited in line, was one of the first people here, and that's why it pays to be early. Early bird gets the worm. So while we were in there, Randy was one of the first people to get into the store, and uh, he saw that jacket, he knew he had to buy it. He buys the jacket, and what do they tell you when you bought the jacket? I can get the first vinyl. Yeah, because he's because first. he's the first person to buy the jacket, uh, he gets this first edition Doodles vinyl figure, which is so sick, and uh, it's basically like he hit the lottery. And you know what, it's because he followed his intuition. His heart said, I want that jacket. He did not hesitate. He bought it immediately, 
and uh, he scored this. So. Hashtag Dijin. Yeah, right, right, right. Dijin, Dijin, yo, it pays off. We're off to a good start. We're, we're, we're off to a good start today. So looking forward to the rest of the day. We can learn from other people's failures sometimes. I used to make. All right, so we are here at Doodle Putt, and we have another amazing surprise. We bumped into Poopy, and you know, this is Mr. Doodles himself, man. So I just wanted to give a second to shout him out for everything that he's done uh, to advance art, to advance uh, Web3, to advance community, and just um, change the way we're thinking about everything. So are you excited about Doodle Putt? Just tell me what you got going on and how you feel about it. Thrilled, honestly thrilled. You know, I met a couple holders from Germany, from Israel, from California. Yeah, <laughs> right? So I just want to say thanks to everyone for, you know, coming down and uh, shout out to the Setback family. What's up? <laughs> thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. Well, hopefully we get some more surprises coming on. It's an awesome vibe. If you're here, you would know. So we are here at Doodle Putt. It is lit. They are known to put on a good event and they did not let down. They have free coffee, a couple different choices. They have an open bar hosted by Johnny Walker. They have a VIP holder space. They of course have the merch store, nice little lounge. OpenSea is also hosting, so OpenSea has a little panel where people are talking about different things throughout the day. Um, and then they also have, of course, the main event, which is Doodle Putt. So we are actually here early in the day. Our time slot to um, golf is at 9.45 today. They close at 10. We got the last time slot uh, before they close. So we got super lucky, but our time slot is at our time slot is at 9.45, so we are actually going to, we haven't ate breakfast. We're gonna go grab some breakfast, um, and then uh, maybe come back here, or go to the Fuel World. Hey, yo, so today we are going to a paint party, Fuocious paint party. If you don't know what that is, look it up. I will tell you more about it as soon as we get there, but I am so hyped to say I'm hyped is an understatement. So, let's go. All right, so Doodle's putt was definitely lit, but now we're on to part two adventure for the day. We're hitting up the Fuo paint party. So originally I was actually supposed to fly out tonight. I don't know if I said this already, but uh, I changed my flight specifically to fly out tomorrow because he announced this last second and I've been wanting to go to these for a long time and uh, I just couldn't miss this opportunity. I own a paint drop. Uh, artist's name is Fuocious and, he Fuocious and he invites you to these um, parties where you can just paint on everything, man. You put on all white and you, you paint on the walls, you paint on your clothes and this is the first fashion factory actually so it's a new concept I'm excited to see exactly what you're gonna do with it but just to be safe me and my boy Jay stopped by uh, Foot Locker copped us some all white blanks he got the Air Force Ones I got the low top bands with the canvas and we're gonna be able to you know get our artistic decorations on I know Lincoln would be proud so hey this might be the highlight of my trip I can't this trip has been full of highlight I can't say that but I'm super hyped for this so let's go let's turn up let's let's paint let's paint and let's have fun Alright, so we just got back to the artifact shop and they have a special delivery. The season one merch has just come in. Uh, apparently, I don't know. I did not know this was coming. Nobody knew this was coming. Huge surprise. 
And let me tell you, I bought a lot of this merch, probably a lot more than I should have. For those that know, Artifact Drop dropped an entire clothing line based on the DNA of the um, digital collectible that you own, the PFP. So there's an angel line, a demon line, an undead line. And if you own that type of clone, you can buy that line of clothes. So I bought a bunch of clothes, Mirakami, Undead, Reptile, uh, all kind of stuff. So they have the first samples in here, physicals, that uh, people can get their hands on, touch and see. And let me tell you, they are the highest quality merch I have ever touched in my entire life. And that is no exaggeration. I mean, the quality of these t-shirts, I bought Bape t-shirts, I bought Supreme t-shirts, I bought Louis V t-shirts, I bought all kind of t-shirts. These t-shirts are literally the, the highest quality material and stitching, like the feel, it's insane. If you feel them in your hand, you will lose your mind. The sweaters, the hoodies too, nice and thick. They don't have any jackets or hats here, um, which I also bought a jacket and some hats, but the quality, the patches on the arms of the sleeves of the, I mean, everything about them is legit. Next level quality, quality game changing, future of fashion for real. And they all have the NFC chips and on top of that, uh, alpha, 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 I got a sneak peek at the, the Art Basel Clone Miami shirt. So if you came here, there were 222 surprise drops. This hasn't been confirmed. I don't know if this is what we'll get, but there's one on display. So I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It is a um, Art Basel uh, Clone X shirt and it has an NFC chip, which makes me think there's going to be a digital version we could link, which makes me hype. I'm I'm more hyped for the digital than the physical. What type of world do we live in? So season one merch, so lit. Another surprise. Can't believe it, super excited. This, this trip has just been one surprise after another. Okay, so we are back at the Doodle Putt event. It is our tea time. It's time to tee off me versus Randy versus Jace. We're gonna see who's win, who has the ultimate miniature golf doodle putt skills. Let's do this. Okay, Doodle Putt was awesome. Uh, Randy and Jace had to fight it out to the finish, but Randy prevailed, although he did not win a free Doodle Ball making the hole in one. I got poop because I'm not the best, but I had a terrible outing today, but I'll stick my skills to basketball, so Doodle Putt was so much fun. Overall, this trip exceeded my expectations more than I could ever say. I met so many awesome people, made so many great memories, bonded, uh, was creative, and so overall, I'm just grateful. I got my, my shirt on, Jeff Staple, Fuocious, Zwist is on the back. Yo, it's been a weekend full of blessings. God is good, so don't forget, uh, we love you, God for lo uh, loves you. Don't forget, go out there and spread some love, and of course, subscribe, comment, hit the like button, all that good stuff. All right, till next episode, which is coming soon. Peace.